giant Godo moment. Hello, I am Rexy and the Vesper City po Vesper Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply what I have learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kind of demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Sure, why not? Let's do it. So she has two Pokemon, one's a Jeter. Okay, cool. It's level 14, nice. It's good for the Bolt Seed. Nice, just gonna take it out. Awesome. I guess it cheated. Nose pass, okay. Now this nose, this nose pass, unlike Jeter, it's not rock ground type, it's just a pure rock type, so it's not gonna be four crest and water type, it's not gonna be four times super effective. Oh, and by the way, if you start with uh, Torchic, I'd recommend you evolving your com uh, Torchic into Combuscaban at level 16. I think it's evolves at like level 14 or 16, I think it's 14 actually, because then that learns double kick, and then fighting type moves are super effective against rock type moves, so that's a way you can, you know, beat Roxanne if you're Torchic, or if you're Combuscans. If your Torchic is evolved in Kabuskin and is strong enough um, and has double kick. So yeah. Let's go for Let's go for the bullet seed, I guess. I mean, I don't have a strategy in taking this thing down other than using super effective moves or what moves I have and depending on the situation that's gonna come out. Depending on how this is gonna turn out really. So let's go for the So how much will pursuit do? I'm just kinda curious. Yeah, it does about the same amount, okay. Rock Tomb, okay, let's go lower Geico's speed. All critical hit G's, of course. Okay, finally use Absorb. Let's get some HP back too. Now, she's gonna use a potion if the Nose Pass is- Oh, wow! If the Nose Pass has enough HP. But, uh... Yeah, that took out the Nose Pass, so I'll critical hit. Awesome. Nice. Geico grew level 17, awesome. Fear Roxanne, awesome. So I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. Sorry, I understand. It's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. Next for 1500 Pokedars, Roxanne. Yeah, we got the stone badge. Stone badge heightens the attack and power of your Pokemon. It also enables you to move the HM, to use the the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you. This team 39, which is Rock Tomb, which I don't think I want to teach you name of Pokemon, except for maybe a future Pokemon I'm gonna catch soon. I'm not even sure. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, that team 39 contains Rock Tomb. Um, it only affects damage. It not only it not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, but also lowers speed. If you if you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to your Pokemon. Remember, a TM can only be used once, so be careful. So be so think before you use it. I was about to say, be careful uh, on which Pokemon to pick or to use it on. Get stuck to the rescue again. Whoa! What a breathtaking, breathtaking victory! My cheers, my cheering must have worked. Great! Check out your trainer card. The stone badge you should uh, you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you're climbing the you climb the first step on the stairs to the championship. That's gotta feel awesome. Thanks, man. Okay, let's press the Pokemon Gym, Roxanne certified trainer, Steven. Nice. So if we go to our trainer card, as he said, we get that we have a strong badge, which is like two arrows going left to right, pointing left and right, which would be cool. Does anyone have any items I can pick up? Okay, yeah, two has one, nice. Super potion awesome. Okay, a lot of super potions really. 